Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is talk to you about tilting rods or beams. And what I've got here is a simple diagram where we've got a rod or a beam resting on two supports. It might be a uniform beam, in which case the weight would act in the middle, but it doesn't have to be. And I've got the two reactions from the supports here, which I've called R1 and R2. Now suppose you pushed really hard here with say a force P downwards. Then what would happen is that that beam would tilt about this support. I've called it O and so we say that it tilts about O for this force P. Now let's go back and consider that beam again resting on the two supports. But let's suppose this time I introduce a force let's say F which is less than the force P. Now it could be that this force F is fairly small and it doesn't make the rod tilt about O. But as I gradually increase it what is going to happen is that this reaction here will start to decrease until at the point where it's just about to lift off this support here this reaction here is going to disappear. It's going to go to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. Okay? And what will happen here is this reaction here increases from what it was, say, up here. So what I'll do is I'll take the two out there and we'll just keep it as a reaction R. Now, this beam is now just at the point then of tilting about O. We've got no reaction here and it has just lifted off this support here. So when we look at questions where a beam or rod is just on the point of tilting, then one of those reactions on the support will go to zero. Now, I've got an example here which echoes this point. So you might like to just read it and have a go. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. When you come back, you can check your solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So what I need to do is a diagram and we've got a uniform rod AB, has a length of six meters and a mass of four kilograms. So I've got my rod here, AB. It's got its weight 4G newtons acting in the middle, so it's going to be 3 meters in from either end. And we're told it rests on two supports, one at X, one at Y. And we're told that AX is 2 meters and AY is 4.5 meters. So you can see that we've got the 2 meters, 1 meter, and 1.5 meters, giving us the 4.5 meters. Okay, so at this point, let's put on a couple of reactions. A reaction from this support here at X, let's say I call it Rx. And we've got a reaction here at this support Y, which I'll call Ry. Now we're told that a particle of mass, m kilograms, is placed at a point C where AC is five meters. Well, AY is 4.5 meters, so that just leaves us with half a meter to go from Y. So if we put that force in, we've got the force MG, the weight acting at this point C, 0.5 meters away from Y. And we're told that when this mass is placed here, the rod is on the point of tilting about Y. So in other words, the rod is just lifting up from this support here. So this force here, this reaction, will disappear. And our job then is to calculate the value of M. Well, because we do not know this reaction here, it's a good idea to take moments about Y. So if I take moments about Y, taking clockwise as positive, then I've got the moment of the weight of the particle acting at C. That's going to be the force, which is going to be mg. And we multiply it by the distance back to y, which is 0.5 meters. 
So that's in the positive sense. And then I've got the weight of the rod acting downwards here on the other side of Y. So it's going to want to turn the rod in an anti-clockwise sense, a negative sense. So that's going to be the force, 4G. Okay, it'll be negative and multiplied by the distance back to y, which is 1.5. And because this is in equilibrium, there'll be no overall moment, so it'll equal zero. Now, if I just tidy this up, I've got 0.5 mg here. This will be minus 6g equals zero. So I can just add 6g to both sides, and if I do that, I end up with 0.5 mg equals 6g. And then just simply dividing both sides by 0.5g, then the g's cancel out, and I'm just left with m equals 6 over 0.5, which gives us m equaling 12. So I hope you're able to get that. If not, at least being able to see how to do it. So thanks for watching, and I hope that has been of some help for you.